on Instagram, I got tagged in the service dog handler tag. And while I did answer it on Instagram, I thought, why not go ahead and answer it in a video too? Good morning, internet friends. And for once, it's actually morning. How are we doing today? I am doing all right. My ears are stopped up, which is really annoying. And every time I try to pop them, my right ear does, my left ear does not, and then I end up getting dizzy. So I'm like, well, great. Right now, I'm on my way to class. Um, I'm gonna put you guys here for a second so that I don't look too weird. But people probably think I'm a weirdo anyway. Um, so it may be a little bit confusing to hear that I'm going to class when I've said that I graduated college. Okay, so here's the situation with that. I managed to be two hours away from getting my diploma. Even my dean thought that was stupid. So I got to walk at graduation, but I have to take this class as a transient student to get my diploma. And really, this whole thing is just dumb, but you know, I'm taking a class for a piece of paper. Yay! On the upside, I have a lot of knowledge that the other people in my class don't, so that's always fun. But now I'm just driving, heading off to class, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! Oh, and it looks like I'm naked. I just realized that. Nope, I'm wearing a shirt. See? It's right there. But I do not know where the time went. So, I got home from class. And then the next thing I knew, well no, got home from class, went to my mom's office. They're having a um, farewell party for their old boss. So they brought Mexican. So I got to get free lunch, yes. And then came home and got to hang out with these guys. Hi guys! And of course this sweet little girl. And the next thing I knew, I fell asleep. It took me like an hour long nap. And now I'm like, where am I? I'm... Hey Riddler. Are you telling me where I am, buddy? <laughs> Thank you. Such a good boy. And I think... And I'm trying to decide. So... I know a huge storm is heading this way around six. I need a shower and little boy needs a bath because somebody got into some mud yesterday. I gave him a spot bath, but you've been needing an actual bath for a little bit anyway. I also plan on doing a little bit of halty training with him where I'm actually going to hook the lead on and just see how he does. Like not doing any kind of commands or anything, just Walk around with him with the halty on. See how it goes. Ah, you can't eat that. He loves these. These are a bunch of like lanyards and crap from like years and years of Special Olympics and stuff. And he likes to chew on them. Rudeness. I can't talk. You want to say hi to your internet friends? Show them how cute you are? Good boy. See how he can hold that pose? It's because he's staring at my hand. He thinks something's in it. Oh, and you can't eat my hand, you goose. But I'm glad that you can hold that focus. Thank you. Am I going to get double whiny kisses? No, only one at a time whiny kisses. Yay! Double whiny kisses! Hooray! So now, I think I'm about to give this little boy a bath. And then get me a shower before this storm hits. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So I got Sassy Girl with me. And I think that's little boy outside. Um, let us see if the little boy's at the door. Are you at the door, buddy? Yay! It is you! Where are you? Did you bring your toy from downstairs? Yo, know, guys, this was the first pull rope I ever bought him. And he loves it. So, good thing that he is now here with me. Because... 
on Instagram, I got tagged in the service dog handler tag. And while I did answer it on Instagram, I thought, why not go ahead and answer it in a video too? So there are 15 questions. If you guys would like to do the service dog handler tag, I tag all of you that would like to do it. So let's get to this. Um, what gear do you use? Currently, the only gear we really use is his vest, and we are working on using the Gentle Leader. Which, after I record this video, we're probably going to do some training on that, aren't we, buddy? As you chew on that rope. Number two, how do you respond to access issues? We've not had those yet, so we'll see. Best response from someone when they stall your service dog? Um, probably the best response I got was one of the, like the first time I was letting him be socialized. So I was allowing people to come up and pet him. <clears throat> I had a woman, when I told her it's okay to pet my dog, like, he was wearing a vest at the time. And she was like, are you sure? I know he's wearing a vest, and I know I'm not supposed to interfere when he's wearing a vest. And that was the most surprising to me, because I really didn't think people in my hometown really understood service dogs. But I've actually gotten that a lot more than I thought. Otherwise, I get a lot of, look how pretty he is. But I mean, look at him. Hey, Morel, are you a pretty boy? Say, I'm too busy chewing on my rope, Mom. Okay, number three is... Oh, I already read number three. Number four, owner trained or program dog? He is owner trained. Number five, how did you find out about service dogs? I guess I've kind of known about them my whole life. Um, and I know I was exposed to them a lot because I've worked with Special Olympics my entire life. One of the first service dogs I ever met was a Dachshund. His name is Rex. And he is a seizure detecting service dog. What's to me what's hilarious about hit that team, I know that team very well, I know the family, they're great. So Rex, of course, is a Dasha and he's small. And his handler, named Michael, is like a freaking giraffe. He's really tall, really skinny. He towers over me easy, and yet he has a teeny tiny dog to detect seizures. And Rex is very good at his job. So that's how I really knew about them. Uh, six, dream service dog meetup. I think I said on Instagram I would love to with um, Kaylee from Days at a Time, Alyssa from Two Girls and a Dog, Stacy from Service Roddy, and of course... Um, Carissa from Slice of Lime. <laughs> Number seven, which handler do you want to meet the most? That would either be between Kaylee or Stacy. Um, I love, like, the reason, Stacy, I have talked with her for a long time. I became friends with her before I ever considered Weimariners as a service dog. It was back when I was first on Instagram and I was considering Greyhounds, or was it when I was trying to get through with Brookwood? No, Wilderwood. One of them. Either way, she was one of the very first people to add me as a friend, and she's super sweet. Um, this past Christmas, I got a Christmas card from her, and it had her service dog's paw print in it. His name is Riddick, and he's a Rottweiler, and oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Riddler's jealous, because I'm not letting him in. But you know what? Too bad, Riddler. And then, of course, Kaylee from Days at a Time. She and I have gotten, I think we've gotten kind of close. We're really good friends. Besides that we both vlog about similar things, we actually have a lot of things in common. Um, excuse you, MRL. You have toys. You have your toys. Oh, no, they're my pretty boy. No, no, no. Ah, get it. So, yeah, that's who I'd love to meet. Number eight, best places to train. Well... We've only trained in two places, actually. Tractor Supply and Lowe's. So only pet-friendly areas right now. Um, I feel like I want to solidify his skills before I move up to non-pet-friendly places. So we're waiting on that. Um, so both of those places are great to train at. 
to me what really matters is the timing when you go if you want it to be low distraction and be able to really focus on what you're doing go during slow hours um, if you want to go where there's more distraction and probably better for socializing go during busy hours um, I made the mistake of taking him to Lowe's during busy hours when I was trying to train him in something and that didn't go well. He was very distracted and it was frustrating for both of us. I think I already put that in the vlog fake service dog team. So that was my mistake. Yes, handlers make mistakes. <laughs> um, let's see. Any advice for new teens? This is advice that I've gotten a lot because I, I still need it. But I think it's really important for all teens. Remember that your precious pupperdoo is not a robot. He's a pupperdoo. Or she's a pupperdoo. So they're animals. They have minds of their own. They're going to make mistakes. They're not perfect. You are a human. You're going to make mistakes. You're not perfect. But despite all the imperfections, what matters at the end of the day is what works for you too. So don't give up. If you have a bad training session, it's not the end of the world. And trust me, I have to remind myself that a billion times. <laughs> and you guys will get through it. Won't we, bud? Yeah? Yeah, buddy? Aww, too cute! Let's see. Um, best patches to have on your vest. Um, right now, we only have one patch, and it says service dog in training. Our old vest just said, in training. What? Do you hear the thunder outside, buddy? Yeah? You look so excited. Unless you're trying to go after a bug. I let my dogs eat bugs because the bugs are annoying and the they're also not hurting the dogs. So, yay! Um, but what I personally would want, what I think would be some best patches to have that I want on a vest for him. Of course, service dog. I wanted to say, do not pet. Are you barking at the thunder? You see that wine lip? Where it looks like his lips kind of stuck? Emerald, come. Emerald, come. Come here. Good boy. Yay, good boy. Here. There you go, buddy. I know, you hear the thunder. Are you going to go get the thunder? Go get the thunder. Go attack Thor. It's Thor up there. He's making a lot of noise. Go after him. <laughs> Silly boy. Fun fact. I also considered Loki as a name for MRL. Um, But anyway. So the service dog patch. The do not pet. Um, I'm considering adding a patch that says like psychiatric service dog. Or I've heard of some people who have psychiatric service dogs claiming that their dog is a medical alert so that they don't get a lot more judgment about their mental conditions. So I thought about medical alert dog on it because, I mean, technically, they are alerting. Riddler is jealous. He needs to get over it. Um, so that. And then, of course, I've seen a bunch of nerdy patches, and I love nerdy stuff, so that would be stuff I would have eventually. Um, least favorite places. Well, we've only been to Tractor Supply and Lowe's, and I love both of them. But the ones I will not be looking forward to are Walmart and Costco. Because there's a whole lot of people and a whole lot of anxiety, but hopefully he will be ready for it. Um, do I have any goals? Really, the goal that I have is just for me and MRL to be the best team we can be. Now, the best and perfect are two completely different things. I want him to be able to do his job as best as he can. And I want to be able to handle him and help him reach his goals of doing his job as best as he can. So I just want us to do the best we can. That's really it. Um, let's see. Full title for my service dog. He is a psychiatric service dog. Or he could be considered an anxiety service dog, I guess. I guess that's what they're meaning. Um, booties or no booties? I haven't decided yet. On booties. Um, I know in cold weather there's not a whole lot of snow in Georgia and he doesn't seem to mind it but we'll see in the summer what like what will happen so we don't have an opinion on it yet 
If you need them, use them. If you don't need them, don't use them. That's really the opinion I have. Then why did I choose to have a service dog? So, um, a few years ago, uh, my anxiety was getting really bad. Of course, I used medication to help with it. And of course, medication only helps to a point. I've been medicated. I still am medicated. I've been to therapy. Um... And I was looking up ways to help with anxiety, and I heard about anxiety service dogs. Now, I know service dogs were a thing. I didn't know that service dogs for anxiety were a thing. And the more I looked into it, the more I actually liked it. I was like, you know, this would be helpful, especially out in public. Because I know dogs calm me down. I mean, they do for a lot of people. But I'm like, if a dog could be trained to help me with my anxiety and help me with my panic attacks that are pretty debilitating to me, though no one really sees it on the outside. They are horrible. Um, so I liked the idea. And like I've told my family before, and sometimes I've told some people, you know, oh, I just realized that pizza sauce on my shirt. But um, if I did not feel like a service dog would be beneficial to me, I would not have gone on this journey. It took me two years for me to get MRL. And those were two long, hard, fighting years. I wanted to give up so many times and I didn't. So, ultimately I have a service dog because it will better help me in my, in my healing process of anxiety. I almost said recovery, but let's face it, you don't recover fully from anxiety. It's always there. You just learn how to handle it better. And I feel like me and my service dog... Or he will be one day. We'll definitely help with that. So that is the service dog tag. So exciting. Come here. Come here. I know it feels funny. I know. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. There's Riddler. There's Saspa Frasma. And there be the Emerald. So, I'm stupid. <coughs> um, so you saw in the earlier clip I was training him with the gentle leader on. Well, the nose band kept slipping off and I couldn't find a way to tighten it. So I messaged Kaylee, the 
<clears throat> owner before me and was like, how do you do this? She sent me a video, so I watched how to do it. And of course, it was after that video where it points out the most obvious thing that I had been trying to do and it wouldn't do. It opened up after that. So I've decided she's now the Disney princess of noseband clips. Because it would not open until it heard her voice. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a thing. Um, whoa. What is my camera doing? I don't know. My camera had it where I could draw on my face. That was weird. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of left little boy's halty on him. I kind of forgot to take it off. And he fell asleep with it on after trying to rub his face in the carpet. So, yeah. He's still going to have to get used to it, but... When he's moving around, he doesn't notice it, but when he's laying down, he's just like, no! And now that I've got tighten it up a little bit, he can't get the dose band off as easy, can he, bud? I'm not happy that you learned that, Mom. I don't appreciate it. And now, got my meds in, got my contacts out, so we're going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. The question of the day is, do you also feel stupid when you try the most complicated things before the most simple of tasks? I know I do, all the time. Just put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, sassy. Whoops, there you are. Good night. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald.